During the week I normally sit up and I sit on the couch and I read and I journal, but today is Saturday and I haven't really gotten a lot of sleep in a long time. So I am going back to sleep and I'll read and journal after I wake up the second time. I don't like to go back to sleep because I drink coffee so I'm like feel awake and I just feel groggy and I'm just more productive when I don't, but yeah, it's Saturday. that happened one day. I need a new pair of contacts. Well, there's one thing that's not perfect every time. <laughs> that's okay. I don't like getting ready in our bathroom because it's very dark. Not even like dark for recording, like dark for me. Like I can't see anything. We'll normally get ready in my bedroom, but David's in there just having a slow morning. He's awake. This room is like our everything room. So David's desk is here. My desk is here. I record in here. <laughs> So this is the little face massage that I do every morning. It's literally just like 10 little massages around my chin and my neck. Sometimes 10, sometimes like seven for some reason. Sometimes I'm so lazy, I just don't want to finish the extra three. 10 here, moisturize. That is my skincare routine. So I've gotten a lot of questions on how David's first Ramadan is going. I'll ask him if he wants to pop in and give that answer. To get dressed. What's the day today, babe? The ninth? We have a spider saga going on right now. Literally will not end. There are so many spiders. So we had to send in a maintenance request yesterday. This one's the biggest one and the darkest one so far. We found like 10 spiders in the last week. It's ridiculous. All right, home now, and we have our recipes organized into little bundles. So this is a salad. This is chicken. These are gonna be like little oat balls, energy balls. I'll try to get all three done. So I organize it on this counter. I prep whatever I can on this counter, and then I move it into the room that I recorded. So carrying this over to the other room is always the hardest thing. And it's always really scary because I can drop anything on the way but I'm gonna try just to be safe. So I'm gonna just put the two things I'm gonna work on right now onto the tray and walk over to the other room and pray that nothing falls. The worst thing ever is when things fall. Okay, and then I'm just gonna set you right here. Okay, this goes here. Now I have to go get my phone stand. Get the spices and the trays that I need for this recipe. This is the part where I turn off horizontal and I go vertical. I mean, I know I say things are perfect every time, but it really is. Like you just can't mess up a mostly roasted salad. You roast veggies, put dressing on it, and it's good. Now straight on to the next one. I try to completely clean between each one so that I'm not overwhelmed. David thinks I'm talking to him. While I'm cleaning in between each recipe, I have to charge my phone. So this was charging while I was doing the dishes and I have to change my clothes because social media is so annoying, but they say like you're supposed to look like it's a different day. So even if you batch create content, you're supposed to change. Same clothes, it looks like the same piece of content. So it's already hard enough for me to like pick an outfit all the time. So what I do normally, is I'll like pick a style. So today I picked kind of like flowy pants, white top. So I'm gonna do the same thing, flowy pants, white top. So that way at least I don't have to think too hard and I know it's working for me today. Ta-da. Oh my God, that's so messy. Let's try that again. Ta-da. This outfit is definitely more comfortable than the other one too. So kind of happy about that. This is what we got, a cilantro lime chicken, energy balls, and then a balanced mostly roasted salad. So now I just need to package them all up. All right, we have changed yet again. I'm done recording everything. You guys have seen me in like 40 different outfits today. So I feel like, you know, sweatpants it is. Um, I'm just gonna edit four o'clock. I have to pray, I forgot. Okay, let me do that real quick.
Now I'm gonna edit, and we'll see if David wants to talk to you guys. You ready for the last Harry Potter? I'm ready. I'm not. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> we put Harry Potter on pause for a second just to get ready for John, and we'll finish while we're eating. Um, David threw the laundry on the bed. He does the laundry. He probably doesn't even know I'm in here about to fold whatever I can um, in the next few minutes. We have like 10 minutes. We put our plates. We're ready. So I'm just going to do this super quick. So our plan is to eat, finish the movie, and then get to bed early. I'll read before bed. I know I haven't recorded that yet. It's because I haven't done it yet, but we'll read before bed. Um, and that's pretty much a day in the life. I am going to turn, I don't know if I already said this, I'm going to turn the camera off um, so that we can just have kind of like a evening where I'm not picking up my phone. It's almost time. <laughs> I know, I didn't really drink any water this morning. What the heck? Here, what am I supposed to eat? That's okay, there's chicken here. I'm kind of kidding, but... Everybody always asks me how your first month of is going and you don't have to answer. I can not put it in, but if you want it, you can be like brutally honest. First Ramadan is going well. Uh, it's honestly not as hard as I expected it to be. Uh, some days it's, it's really rough and mentally it gets you because obviously physically sometimes you feel a little drained, but Sometimes mentally, like your question and stuff like that, but you just gotta power through it and just kind of stay true to what you committed to in the first place and stay true to the religion and the practices of that. So, yeah. We are having a hodgepodge of leftovers today. Nothing makes sense, and I almost don't want to talk about it, but I'm going to. These are the veggies that I could muster up that were all left over. These are some carbs under here that were left over. This is some protein and some protein that's left over. Some sauce on top that's left over. And these are very, very old. It's embarrassing because I feel like my food should look a lot better than this because I'm a content creator. But this is the reality of making too many things at one time and having leftovers from my mom's house and leftovers from David's mom's house. And it just throws together in a plate like that. And that's what a lot of our Ramadan dinners look like because you can only get through so much food, you're not eating lunch. So you have a lot of like random leftovers. But what I try to do and we try to do is make sure that no matter what we're doing, it always ends up being a balanced plate and we have that. So I would say it's a success. And before I put my phone away, let's talk through dessert really quick. So try to keep it to like one dessert, but I'm not really good at that. I'll show some clips of like what else I've been having. But um, we'll probably do these sweet potato brownies today if we decide that we want something. I typically do want something. Um, and then there's always an option for a snack, an additional snack if we're still hungry. An additional snack can look like, gosh, it could look like something as simple as Greek yogurt or what do we have a night for a snack? Brownies? Like, yeah, dessert, Greek yogurt. That's typically what we go for, I think. If we go to the gym, then we'll have like a protein shake. That's it.